what is up you guys i'm here to bring us another review today i have the fleur vp50 this is a non-contact voltage tester it also doubles up as a flashlight so i'm going to tell you guys the one drawback about this later on in the video so just stay tuned but right now let's get into the actual specifications about this so it says right on the tip here 24 to 1000 volts AC. It's also got the cat 5000 volt rating on there as well for safety. So over here we got the flashlight. It's got this rubberized um, tip as well just so you don't shatter the glass. Just adds more ruggedness to the tool. So it's a super bright LED. I'll show you guys here in the dark. Uh, it's got this off, uh, off color uh, yellow halo on the flashlight. Um, don't ask me what that's about um, I'm not too sure but nonetheless it's a super bright handy uh, flashlight to have on you and so on this side we have the actual tester portion uh, the green is just for the low sensitivity so pretty much uh, lighting plugs all that type of stuff so you can use to test it we also have LEDs on the probe here so you can find what wire you're actually trying to test in the dark very very handy uh, uh, thing to have on the tool. The orange is for the high sensitivity, so anything for 24 volts, that range. So you can only have uh, one or the other on at the same time. So either the flashlight's on or the actual tester portion is on. I guess that's just the battery saving uh, feature that they have on the tool. So on here you can just see uh, some rubberized uh, grips just so you, I guess it adds more to the tool uh, so you don't drop it and break it I guess. Super rugged tool, you can see from all the rubber they have on there. They also have this super heavy duty clip on here as well so it stays fastened to your pocket or wherever you keep it. So on the box here uh, it says limited lifetime warranty which is a great thing so basically you buy the tool once and if it goes on you you can just get another one so on the back here it says that it's rugged waterproof all this all that type of stuff um, vibration feedback alarms all that stuff so here I have a test for you guys so basically I just wired up a light bulb into a plug so I think you just want to show you guys how the tester performs so here's a quick uh, distance uh, test to see where it actually picks up the wire so right there you can see it's starting to vibrate um, you'll get the orange and the green um, notification and you also feel the vibration as well so this is just me testing on the neutral so you won't feel anything there but if you flip it over you should feel something for sure on the hot wire so the only drawback about this tool is the fact that it's vibrating and it isn't giving you an audible or a signal alarm. Um, so basically, I'll give you a scenario here. If you are in a super bright and um, area, and also if you're wearing thick gloves, this tool may give you a false reading and it could be a dangerous situation. So here's just a quick bulb. Um, comparison I just want to throw that in there this right here is a dead battery situation so when you're running low you'll see a red LED come up in that black square there so that's just letting you know you do need to change your batteries um, it's always a great idea to have fresh batteries in your testers just for safety so there you see you just go absolutely crazy now so here I just want to quickly show you guys uh, how easy it is to change the batteries. On the tool itself it actually will show you um, battery markers and pretty much which way to insert the batteries and what kind of batteries you need as well. So here is two AAA batteries and now you want to line up the cap with uh, the battery terminal and then it should just screw right back on. So that is the only drawback about the tool. You'll see it right here. Um, it's gonna fire up right here. But also the drawback is the fact that it doesn't give you an actual signal. It just vibrates like this. So that is uh, something to consider about this tool. But nonetheless, it is a great tool to own. It's probably one of the best testers out on the market. 
I definitely do recommend this tool. Alright, so that was my review on the Fleur non-contact voltage tester. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section down below and if you guys are thinking about grabbing the tool. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.